Well, it, 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 was, it was a wonderful Philip after such a terrible time. We were all sitting at home, not being able to see anyone, least of all the family. And then to have this script come through the door and then say that it was going ahead. And so we were able to come out of our houses again and um, meet someone other than um, your next door neighbour was wonderful. And to go away um, to Highclere, and because uh, we were filming there, so we all stayed in the same hotel and in the same wing of the hotel. So it was extremely um, enjoyable to see everybody again and uh, also be working uh, when so many of us weren't and uh, all the theatres were closed and a lot of productions didn't happen. But we just happened to get lucky and to get a group of us together, as big a group as we are, was a sort of an amazing feat, really. And Hugh, you were part of the party that went to France. Uh, was that quite a fun experience to bring the Downton, Downton gang to somewhere abroad for once? Oh, it was. It was a real you know, breath of fresh air in, in so many ways, both in terms of uh, the story, opening up the story and, and, and filling the big screen. It really does make it a cinematic experience um, with the wonderful you know, photography of, uh, and the different light in the south of France. Um, and it was great for the characters and, um, yeah, obviously, a, a, you know, a great uh, enforced holiday uh, at the beginning of the shoot because we had to quarantine before we could start shooting in the south of France, which was a bit of a tough gig. <laughs> um, while it was torrential rain and hurricanes here at home, um, we were lying by a pool um, for a week before we could start shooting. So um, phone calls home were a little tense. Um, <laughs> but, um, no, it was a, it was a great... Uh, it was a great treat to finish the, the, the filming um, in the south of France with our great French cast and crew as well. Well, I loved watching it. Elizabeth, uh, you got to work with your husband again. What was that like? I was so proud of him. I was a little bit nervous because I know how challenging it is coming into something like this show uh, because everybody has worked together for so long and the actors all know their characters so well and they don't suffer fools. Um, but he rose to the occasion in a way that I couldn't possibly have anticipated. He had grown in confidence as a director so much since the last time I worked with him. So it was really amazing. I mean, I recommend everybody do something like this with their partner because you see them, you, you suddenly think, oh, you know, he actually does something. He doesn't just sit around <laughs> watching TV. <laughs> it was a complete shock to me. And, um, and everybody loved him so much. And he's obviously done such a good job with the movie. I'm, I'm so proud because I feel as though Simon's personality really permeates this movie because he is in love with family and he's got a fantastic sense of humor. And that reverberates throughout the movie, and, and I think that I think Simon lifted it. He sort of brought it brought it back to life. I'm not sure I could work with my husband. He works in finance. I right. <laughs> bored to death. It, it, it is an interesting <laughs> thing to see, though. You forget that they do something. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'd like to ask you all, really, why Downton is so special and it's so loved by the fans. Why do you think that is? I'll start with that. Well, I think it's if there's not one one reason. I think that it, it, it's down to Julian and the fact that he has 18 characters who are sort of leading characters and it's an ensemble piece. Mm. So you get all those stories. Often, it, certainly in the series, you'd get a number, four or five story trans, strands on each episode. And in the film, there are about three or four different storylines and everybody has their storyline. Even the smallest little exchange will be somewhere taking the story forward. Mm. So he's a great storyteller and it's a page, change, uh, a page turner. Mm. And I think people get very fond of the people, uh, of the different characters. I also think it has a sort of nostalgic feeling going back, at, um, going back to that time when people uh, had a, a more seemingly, seemingly more leisurely, <laughs> life wasn't quite as fast. I don't think I would have liked to have been there in reality because um, <clears throat> we didn't have a lot of things that we have now. But it was a very, I think for all those reasons, people have become extremely fond of it. They've engaged with the characters and they want to see what's happening next. And Elizabeth, what do you think it is? Why, uh, sorry, my mind was... Why, why the fans love Downton so much? Um, well, I think that when they first watched the show, they loved 
they, they, they connected to the nostalgia of where it was set. And, and now that they've gotten to know the characters and, fall in, and they're, they're part of their lives in a way. So now they have nostalgia for the time when they first sat down and watched the series for the mm -hmm. way the world was then, which is so different to how it was now. And, um, and I think it's, it's an entertaining escape for them. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys!